Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. In the last episode, we got the rent from Secub, thought of some field raiders, and now finally, 11-7. Now, we're still not strong enough to join the mercenaries, however, but we still have a lot to do. First off, we're gonna go to Cord. So we can talk to if you him. Have a problem with wolves or field raiders? Go talk to one of the younger mercenaries. You can come to me when the paladins show up here. Nah, they're not here. Whenever one of you peasants comes to me, I'm not a peasant. Thank you. Innocent beasts. I'm not a peasant. Oh, what is it you want then? Well, teach me how to fight. I only train mercenaries or worthy candidates. I guess I am. But I want to become a mercenary. You look more like someone who'd been born to work in the field, boy. Can you wield a weapon then? So, how about one-handed weapons? Well... And two-handed weapons then? I'm surely gonna get better. In other words, you're a damn greenhorn. Each well, kind of. to be able to rely on his comrades. All our lives depend on that. As long as you barely know how to wield a weapon, you're in the wrong place here. All right, all right. I've heard that you belong to the Ring of Water. What rat has not been able to keep his big trap shut? Lee told me about it. Looks like I've got a <laughs> deal with you now, doesn't it? He kind All of. Right. So what do you need? And be damn careful about what you tell me. For if I don't like what I hear, I just might skin you alive. Wow. Uh, how about this? Teach me how to fight. All right, what else? Um, maybe that. You could help me to get accepted by the mercenaries. <laughs> I can just see it now. Right, I'll try. What else? Actually, that's all, because the rest is just like, ugh. That's all. That shouldn't be too hard. And woe betide you if I hear that you can't keep your trap shut. And I'm only saying this once, understand? Yep, completely. So, teach me how to fight. I can teach you to use any weapon. Where shall we start? How about 100 weapons, so we can get it back up to 30%. You've become better already. Keep it up. I want to do... The... Teach me how to fight. I can teach you to use... Yes, please. Wonderful. You've become better already. So, this Keep is finally up. 30%. Help me become a mercenary. Let me think. Hmm. You've got to get past Torloff. I've already done that. Make any progress here. Have you already seen Torloff about it? Yes, that's with the test and everything. What test would that be? It's already taken care of. Oh, I guess I can't help you then. What do you mean by that? Well, well it's already done. It means so. that I cannot help you. It. <laughs> or do you want me it to cannot help you. It means I cannot help you. So yeah, you could join obvious. Me. You'll have to do that yourself. All right. What are the advantages of one-handed or two-handed weapons? A good question. I see you've given the subject some thought. I have. One-handed weapons are faster, but a little weaker. Mm, they are, Two mostly. Two-handers cause more damage, but you can't strike as fast. Also, you need more strength to wield a two-hander. This means additional training. That's true. The only way to become really good is to invest a lot of effort. All right. What should I learn first, one-handed or two-handed combat? Those two types of arms are rather similar. As soon as you reach the next level with one type of weapon, you automatically learn for the other as well. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. If you train with one type of weapon only, you'll find the training more exhausting. If you always train both, you'll arrive at the same result with less effort. In the end, the outcome will be the same either way. It's your I choice. Do? Well, it sounds a little bit weird. But at least we got it back up to 30%, so we're now a fighter, which is quite nice. So, we now have Cord on our side. If we want to train, we can do that even with a not a mercenary. And then, we are going a little bit deeper into here and talk to this guy over here, called Pepe. What are you doing here? Guarding sheep. <sighs> and if possible, staying out of trouble. I guess Doesn't you should be. Work, does it? Nah, 
especially not with the mercenaries. I'm really glad to be out here in the pasture, although it can be dangerous too. It looks too. more like a forest to me, but... What's so dangerous in the pasture? There's a small pack of wolves that roams the area. Lately, the damn beasts have come by and eaten one of my sheep almost every day. Wow, that sounds ago, like you've I lost a lot of sheep lately. Sheep. I don't want to think what Onar will do to me when he finds out. <laughs> Twice as many, so if you lose one per day, that would be two, right? Math is so great. What if I kill those wolves? You? By yourself? Yes, by I myself. Don't believe it. I'd sooner trust my bellwether to do that. Forget it, it was just a suggestion. I'll go over to the boys and see what they say about it. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, okay, Im. You're the greatest and you can take on a hundred wolves at once, no problem. Well, thanks for the Mostly word of they confidence. Look between the trees near the pasture. I think there were only four. I can take care of four wolves. Just need to space them out a little bit so I don't have four on me at the very same time. Young wolf. Alright. I suppose that's them. So, I'm just gonna go forward. Oh. It's one of them. Two. Good thing is we're now a fighter, so we can attack quite a bit faster. Oh, that's the last one. There we go. Well, if these would have been real wolves, they probably would have been dead by now, so... We should be glad that these are only young wolves. Talking about a frontal assault, you never should do this unless you're absolutely certain that you win this no, fight. Nothing there. There. Nothing the there. last one? There we go. Alright. Now, we're gonna collect all the stuff that's lying around here as well. So we'll get some good items out of this. And by good, I mean there's probably a chest in here. I would guess. Or some skins, which is also quite nice. Free money. And of course there was a water pipe here. Oh, there is a chest, see? I knew it. Well, at least 20 gold. Not too shabby. Going up. Come on. Going outside. Now, I want to collect... Oh, there's some arrows here and a bow, it seems. Always good to have that. Oh, willow bow. Oop, don't want to go up. Never a bad thing to find a new weapon that you can't use yet, but at least we have something to train for, if we so desire. For the time being, we won't be using that good of bows, really, because I'm more of a melee fighter. In most situations, you will find that melee weapons are much to your liking compared to bows. Unless you're fighting like a single monster where it really helps to have a bow with you. So you can A, either pull the beast, or B, just kill it outright, depending on your damage on it. So, hey. what do you say, Pepe? Hmm? I've done in the wolves. Ooh, 2050. Not it. bad. Thank Inos. But now I still don't know how to tell Onar that all those sheep are gone. Well, that's it's your all problem. That damn Bulko's fault. What did you say about Bulko? He's one of the mercenaries. It was actually his job to guard the pasture. But instead, he and his pal Silvio hang around Thecla in the kitchen all day. It's that bastard's fault if I don't get paid for weeks because of the lost sheep. Well. I wish I could at least punch him in the mouth for it. But nobody stands a chance against him. The guy's a killer. Alright. Now. It seems that we have to give Bulko a good thrashing. So what we want to do is want to heal up first before we do anything else. Because Bulko is a very tough opponent. And probably I'm going to die quite a bit before I'm able to take him down. Especially considering that he's about the same amount of damage skills that a farmer can do with one hit just a little bit faster. So things can go really out of hand with him. And he's probably going to deal a good amount of damage even though he might not be able to hit us on the first try. So, let's see how much we can really do with him. 
The two of us should have a chat. I wouldn't know about what. The two of I wouldn't. If we go a little bit closer, could we? No. All right, let's talk to owner about this, about the mercenaries and stuff like that. Owner's only here. Just gonna go the back route into his room. Oh, this is Vasily, by the way. He collects old coins. Where is Ona? He's not here. What? Normally he's always here. Let's go up. That's Maria. That's a maiden. And that's Ona himself. Who let you in here? Oh. What are you doing here? That's... I'm letting myself in. Thanks to Bulko, you now have a few sheep less. And what are you talking about? Who is Bulko? One of the mercenaries. How would that interest me? If he's been after my sheep, he'll have to answer to Lee. So why are you bugging me with such trivial details? Well, it's your sheep, right? Oh, well, I guess that I can leave him alone. So can we talk to Lee about this? Otherwise I have to talk to Bulko directly. Hello, Khaled. So don't tell me that. Hello, Lee. Onar now has a few sheep less thanks to Bulko. Oh, leave me alone with that shit. I've had enough trouble as it is. Wow, he's like, well... You do deal with this stuff, and I gonna keep doing what I can. Standing around there doing nothing. Well, all shit goes down outside. Nobody will learn anything from me. Well, I guess we might have a talk option now, maybe. Not sure exactly. We'll see. The two of I wouldn't know. But, uh, <sighs> hey. Thecla has a problem with you. So, what is the dear lady's problem? And why doesn't she come herself? Because you she's a woman and you well. like scare her, why that's why. I'll discuss that with my friend Bulko for a while. The two of us. I wouldn't. Hmm. Still not. Hey, asshole. You don't actually think I'd get involved in a duel with you. Go crawl back under your rock. Nah, he's probably not going to do that. How's it going? Have I given you permission to address me? Wow, he's a real douche. A lot of people talk about you. A lot of people talk too much. What do you think of Lee? Oh, he's a good fighter. I wouldn't ever want to pick a fight with him. Unless, of course, it couldn't be avoided. Hmm. Doesn't sound too great. Can we talk to you? How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away hmm. from the island, and Enos knows... Sounds in theory like actually a good plan. ...away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. Indeed he did. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. Alright. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. Sounds about right. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. All right. Who you choose is your business. So who Just are those? A little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself. Which I can't and really his fight. And man, Bulko. Then there's Rod. Sentenza, Fester, and Raoul. Well, I already beat Fester and um, what was his name? How many of Silvio's men are still on my list? Rod looks a little yeah. Worse Rod and Fester already Fester beat. Fester tried to take me for a ride. That was his mistake. Good, keep it up. I expect you to rough up at least three of them. So, how about we talk to Bulka now again? 
Silvio ah, is sim. Like and talk to. You might have gathered as much by now. Oh, good. He is attacking me already. All right. Blabber man, like hell. Ooh, okay, he almost got me there. Ah. Show him. Ah. Show him. <laughs> yeah, he got me good this time. I should probably prepare myself for this. This was very unexpected. I didn't think he would actually try to attack me right there. But as it so happens, he did. So, yes, we already know that. Um, Sylvia's planning. Lee intentions. Alright. Okay. Now we're prepared this time around. We're going around here again, so we stand at the edge of the door already. What we can also try is the following, which will be a little bit cheap, but we'll try to do it. Uh, all right, I guess I have to talk it has to. Come to my attention that you have it in, and as far as I, I'm warning, we need to. Talk. What do you want? I think the best. Does the name? Ah, the now we can talk with them about that. I don't get a word of what you're blathering about. But I don't like your tone. You were supposed to guard his sheep. What do I care about his sheep? Lee cares about them. What are you getting at? If you keep getting on my nerves, I'll see to it that you are made to pay. Oh, she sure it's that you're made to pay. For so sheep. if you're at all interested in That's your right. pay, leave me alone from now on. You, you. Yes. Wretched little low life. All right. Guess he's a little bit on fire. And this time we're going a little bit back, so we have a little bit of head start. Oh, really? You're not gonna? Mm. I had hoped that um, Bulko would be able to talk to me. Hey, you! Um, Don't jump, hero. I just want to talk to him. Hey, you go. Fact so. You know that. Why don't? How's it? Have I? All right, we're gonna go outside here and not look at Bulko for the time being. Let's hope we can get him. He's like really tough. I'm not really sure if we can do this, but we'll try. He's turning already to me, so he's Silvio probably going to talk to me. So we're gonna try and cheap this a little bit. Oh, we. That was a very valiant effort, but absolutely worthless in the end. He can one-hit me nonetheless, too, of course, as you can see. Really so we should be a little bit more careful. Oh, don't jump into his direction, you fool! Ow! Put away that weapon! I'll get Put you away that yet. weapon. Oh now, God. Hang on. It's back. Show him. And now, yeah. Let him have ah. listen to him. Well, he is a tough opponent, as I said previously. He's not as easy as you might think he is. And he's wearing a good armor anyway, so... Things will get tough with him. So well, we can jump up here. Well, he's down there, so maybe if he tries to get up, which he doesn't. No, we don't want to shoot him. All right, well, we have a little bit of time left, so... How about we try to jump onto the house now? Because it really can't be following us here. Or what we can also do is jump up here. Yeah. 
and he should be coming out of the house pretty soon. Come on, dude. Show yourself. Now there's Onar. We don't want to shoot Onar. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Hmm. He's probably now appearing somewhere and like thrashing us right out of nowhere. Where is he? I'm a little bit scared to go anywhere. That's owner, alright. Is that him? I think that's him. Alright, let's try to run away this time around. And get a good position, maybe. Oh. Do you really have to talk to me now? <laughs> Oh, that's him, all right. Well, we're not doing a lot of damage, but that's not what. Whoa! Mm. That was not what I was supposed to be doing, jumping down there. We're not doing a lot of damage with our bow, it seems, so we should not be doing it like that. All right. Ah. The damage that he puts out, it's so much. And especially he's also very quickly in attacking, so that's another different problem entirely. Go. Would you mind go back? Alright, I guess this is like a little bit too tough for us at the moment. So we're not going to do that. Book is really strong. So that's like not even close to being easy to handle. But we, what we could do, however, is to try to attack Raul. Because Raul is one of those guys that we can deal with. Hey, what do you want? I want how about... Me thinks I'm going to punch you in the face. What? That's exactly what you need right now. <laughs> what? I've been too nice to you so far. You haven't even talked to me yet, but I'll be giving you a good slashing, my friend. Show him. Show him. Don't stop now. Ah, almost. He's not as tough, especially because he doesn't have a lot, a lot of hit points as Bulko does. No Alright, let's get a little bit closer hey, to him. Whoa! Okay, that was unfortunate. Not bad. Ah, he hit me right there without giving me any chance of survival. That was very unfortunate. That doesn't happen too often. There was no but when it does, hey, you. What do you it's want? very bad. Me thinks I'm gonna put what? That's ex I've been <laughs> Don't jump on him, fool. bit of training things aren't too bad here. And now we've beaten three of Silvio's men as well, so Jarvis is on our side too. Which is nice. Stand up. I wanna talk to you. 
We'll, we'll see change. about that. Not all right, likely. All right, you win. What do you want? How about? I'd like to become a mercenary here. Do you mind? Ah, do whatever you want. Okay. So he's all right. Well, basically he's all right because he won't say anything anymore. But we can talk to Jarvis now. How many of Silvio's men are still on my list? Rod looks a little worse for the wear. Fester tried to take me for a ride. That was his mistake. I went to see Raul, and he was badly in need of a proper licking. That's enough. That's enough. I'm impressed. If Lee asks me, I can vote for you without hesitation. All right. That's good enough for me. So, let's talk to Torloff again. How's my ah, diary entry. So if we wanted to do anything, we could now do it. Jarvis thinks you're on the right side. Court thinks you'd be good enough to join. Cypher says that for him it was crystal clear. Yes. You seem to have convinced Tenzo will vote. I don't need to say anything about it. Buster says you're... And Dar says you're a black. The rest of the mercenaries, you convinced most of them. Although a lot of them say they're getting a farmer to... You have my vote now. And you want some fair... A lot of mercenaries. Most of the mercenaries are for you. As far as we're... Go to Lee. He'll... Alright, so basically we could do that, but we're not going to. Because we want to first loot out all other possibilities. And we want to sleep here. And then, go a little bit back on the way to the city. Because first off, we're not done with this kind of adventure in this part. And, whoa, they spawned right there. That was weird. Dropping them somewhere close by here. And secondly, we can now choose to become a mercenary if we so desired. But we're not going to, just yet. I want to keep our options open for this one. Alright, you come here. There you go. 30% crit chance is not too bad either way. So we can hit these field graders with a good amount of force. No, 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 not happening. However, we do need a better weapon in a bit, so... I'm trying to leveling up a little bit more, getting some more experience. Never a bad idea. Ah, you can cheat the weapon. That's all right. We're out of danger for the moment. Nothing spawned back in here. Still two field raiders on the southern edge of the cave there. You come to me. Oh, we need to be careful here, otherwise we might be dying. Let's eat four meat. That should be more than enough. And then continue our journey in extinction on the fields. Too bad I don't have any buck spray, otherwise this would be a little bit easier for me. Alright, but these field raiders are going to be reserved for next video. So when we come back, folks, a little more extinction on the fields, and then going back to the city. So I will see you all next time.